good morning hello everybody welcome back to my channel and happy new year this is the first video going on my channel after new year's i am just excited new year new vibes and i thought because it's new year i would sit down and show you my everyday makeup routine and chit chat about 2024 and some goals and aspirations and some things I want to bring from 2023 into 24 and some things I don't want to bring. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. I start by moisturising. I think that is a great step to start in. I actually am not someone who wears uh, sunscreen and that is actually something I want to start doing in 2024. Um, just because I don't really like the way sunscreen makes my skin feel. I feel like it makes it feel a little bit oily and I'm not just like, I'm not a massive fan of that feeling. I think we can start with makeup because obviously it's very fitting for today. Okay, my first point is establishing an everyday makeup routine. Now obviously it goes a bit against what this video is because I'm showing you my everyday makeup routine. I find that I'm someone who actually wears quite a lot of everyday makeup, meaning that my special occasion makeup is just my everyday makeup making it feel slightly less special to me. I think I just want to establish an everyday makeup that one, doesn't take very long, and two, that I can build on to make it look special, allowing me to feel special when the occasions arise. I don't actually know if that made any sense, but I'm gonna, I'm going to assume it did. Moving on to foundation, some people are gonna absolutely hate this, but I normally quite like to apply it with my hands, and I just normally add these dewy drops to just make it a bit more glowy but i really enjoy applying foundation with my hands i think it gives me the most um natural look yeah i find that for an everyday i adding the dewy drops makes all of the difference but because it just gives you a glowy finish and it makes my skin feel lovely the second makeup thing i want to start doing is tone down eyeliner so I am someone who loves eyeliner. I, basically for me growing up, one of my personality traits is that I always wore eyeliner. I just, I love it. I learned how to do it really early. I learned what worked um, for me. And I just really overall enjoyed the way it made my eyes look. But kind of going hand in hand with what I said previously, I wear eyeliner every single day. Just, it doesn't feel very special anymore. And I kind of want to bring back how special I feel when I wear eyeliner. And yeah, I mean, I could feel special every single day. Uh, nothing wrong with that. But I just find that for me, at the stage of life that I'm in, it's giving a bit too much. That was the Fit Me concealer, by the way. And, but I just thought that that was something that I really wanted to change, is making my makeup feel special again. And to just like kind of soften myself as well. I'm like really young. I'm 22. And I just don't need full beat every day. Third goal, moving on from makeup, I think something I started doing at the end of 2023 was to tell myself that I was going to start waking up an hour to two hours before I had to be somewhere. Now, I know that for some people that might sound a bit extreme, but I personally found that that helped me. I started doing that at the end of 2023 and it was going really, really well and then the holidays came around and Christmas came around and I literally fell off the rails like that didn't happen anymore I was sleeping more and now I just feel like I can't get back into it so I need to one of my goals is to get back into that because I personally think it was really good for me um and I am that type of person that enjoys mornings I actually don't enjoy being in a rush but recently unfortunately I've been feeling like I'm always rushing. I definitely get out of bed at the last possible second and I'm just rushing and then I don't have time so I like skip breakfast and then just go to uni and then I'm, I don't think about it and it, it feels like a very rushed morning and I just honestly hate that feeling. So yeah, that's something I definitely wanna start um, doing more, just start allowing myself that morning time. I think this might be one of my favorite products in my makeup routine. Which is not good because it's not cheap. Using the Brea Beauty Blush. I didn't want to believe it, but TikTok was right. You need... That's how much you need. Okay, it's very glowy and dewy and it feels nice on my skin. And I feel like it's, it complements my skin as well. This is the colour... 
worth. And the, in case you wanted to know, the um, contour stick, bronzer stick, was the colour Always Sunny. Moving on, next thing I've put down is be more creative and bold and lean into your creativity. Obviously, starting this YouTube channel was a, an attempt to venture into being more creative and allowing uh, myself to express that creativity. I'm still trying to figure out what this channel is and what I want it to portray and what I want it to be, how often I want to be on here, how frequently I want to film, what I want to film about, if it's more lifestyle, if it's, you know, it's like all things that I'm trying to figure out how to do. And I just have tons of ideas. I have tons of ideas and I have tons of ways to like execute those ideas. But I find myself self-sabotaging by caring too much what people are gonna think. Even though like, that is the reason why I didn't do this earlier. It's because I just cared too much of what everyone around me was going to think about it. And it's like, I really don't have to do that because it doesn't matter. I'm not walking into uni and people are saying, oh, she films videos now. Nobody cares. Everyone is way too involved in their own life to actually care about what other people do with theirs. And that is just something that I need to keep reminding myself to allow this channel to become an extension of who I am. Because realistically, like I said in my first video, I do just want this to be a space where I can just offload a bunch of stuff that I can look back on when I'm older. Just, you know, see the growth, see the evolution. Because in the end, nobody cares if you film videos. Nobody cares if you spend your time putting makeup tutorials online. I'm not aiming for this channel to be inspirational. I'm just aiming for people to be able to put this in the background and do their makeup with me. Hi, hello, I hope you're doing your makeup with me. If you're not, go do your makeup with me. And just, yeah, be creative and encourage others to be creative. That's my main thing about it as well. I'm just gonna set my face uh, more, more so underneath my eyes and just my forehead and nose and stuff. That's where it normally likes to separate or get a bit more oily. So I'm just gonna do that. I used to be that person that like baked my face and I just found that like I was just wasting time. I didn't think my makeup lasted any longer because I baked my face. Maybe I wasn't doing it properly. I mean, I kind of self-taught myself how to do makeup through like YouTube videos. So it's very possible that I wasn't doing it correctly, but I just felt like it was, again, one of those things. I just felt like it was one of those steps that I was doing every single day when there was no need to be packing on powder on my face. Um, so yeah, now I just kind of very lightly feather powder through my face. Just to make sure like I set all the cream products in place. Yeah, that's it. There's powder flying about everywhere now. Oh, it's gonna be oh, it's gonna be so annoying. I apologize if there's just powder flying everywhere. I can't I shouldn't have done it like that. <laughs> My next point is reading the Bible and studying it more. I find it really difficult to actually sit down and study my Bible and because I find it sometimes really difficult to understand um, and really difficult to like read and not have to go back 13 times to what you've read to try to understand and I have found that for me personally the way that I most like to study my Bible is through devotionals. I have found this devotional it is by Courtney Fiddle and it is called Grace is Enough and specifically is to help women turn anxiety and insecurity into confidence which I guess goes hand in hand with what I was saying uh, for the previous goal of not caring what people think about me. I think this definitely has helped but yeah definitely a goal for 2024 is to just establish a routine and study my bible more which I find that it's a goal that is always continuously on my bucket list. I think you can never, you can never feel like you're doing enough. And also the Bible just has so much stuff that you could read it. You could read it over and over and over again and always get something you didn't get the last time. So I think that's just, that's the beauty of it as well. Definitely something I want to bring into 2024 is to just do more self-care journaling. Now I bought a journal a couple months ago that I never really used and I'm going to start using it this year but there is just so many prompts online as well if you have like a bullet journal or even just like a notebook you can you don't need to buy anything you can just go on pinterest and search some like pr uh, self-care prompts and there'll be so many examples over there you can just start kind of journaling and kind of just thinking to yourself kind of just evaluating how you're feeling 
this one specifically that I have is just a bit, just has a few more things. It's that tiny bit more detailed. But like I said, if you have a journal or just a regular notebook like the one I'm using here, you can just write those down like every single day and just, or a couple times a week and just reflect. And lastly, as I begin reaching closer to the end of my makeup routine, really, this is all I do. Organization and decluttering. <sighs> now, I'm just, in terms of my bedroom, I'm not really someone who is very organized and I've never been. I think I'll clean my room one day just to get home and it's all gone everywhere again uh, without me even being in it. Because I really enjoy when my room looks like this and it's pretty and it's done up and it's I get home and I've made my bed. Like I really enjoy all those types of things but I just, on an everyday routine, I can't include it in my routine. But now I'm kind of being forced to because I'm getting married in six months, which is, I mean, crazy. And recently the idea of having to pack my whole room to obviously take to my new house and to go live with Dylan is honestly giving me anxiety because of how many things are currently in this bedroom. So I think a goal for this year is to just declutter, honestly declutter my life because I have so many things that I've kept hold of because, you know, clothes that I've kept hold of because of, you know, shifting weights and diff beginning to have a different style. Yeah, I'm just at a point in my life where I'm kind of done with that and I want to just declutter and organize so that my moving from this house to my new house when I'm married will be as smooth as possible, which right now I can't imagine being because there's so many things in this room that I frankly just probably don't need as a freshly married woman. So yeah, you might be having some declutter and organizing videos coming your way. I don't know if that is the type of content you like to watch. I love watching those videos, but I also know that they're not for everyone. So let me know in the comments, even though I'll probably do it anyway, because I want to. But yeah, just let me know in the comments if you would, you know, watch it. Maybe that'll give me an incentive to do it earlier rather than later just one last goal to leave you guys with one last thing is I'm graduating this year so I definitely want to start properly thinking about my career aspirations I'm not really someone who's career driven I'll be honest and because there's just a lot of things that I would want and love to do um, so I've never really thought about like my career as a whole and like what I would want to do for the rest of my life I'm not someone who thinks I'll end up doing one thing for the rest of my life but yeah, I really want to start thinking about my career and where I see myself after I finish uni and start looking for things and different jobs and start trying to line myself up a nice job for when I finish. Uh, that is definitely a goal. I think we're so young and we don't have to think about what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, but I do think I need to think about what I want to do with the next six months after I finish uni because those will be very important. That is the goal for me is to trying to find out and explore my passions and explore the different careers out there that can align with my passions. That is my finished makeup look. This was my everyday makeup routine and a little chit chat about 2024. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of more talkative video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!